those non-fungible tokens. Same with NFTs. All stars, musicians, WWE. Nothing is hotter than an NFT. Imagine owning a digital piece of art, a tweet, or even a specific moment in sports history that is truly yours in a digital form. This is exactly what NFTs are about. They give you the privilege to own a piece or collectible or whatever you want to call it that gives you the exclusivity of owning it. However, here the terms of real and digital blur and the concept of this ownership is not yet demonstrated in real world. Today, we're going to talk about the new concept that has been around for the last couple of years. Today, we're going to talk about NFTs. What did you say? NFTs or non-fungible tokens are digital representation of ownership or if you want to call it proof of authenticity directly on the blockchain itself. However, there's a huge difference between Bitcoin or Ethereum or any digital cryptocurrency and NFTs. The main difference is what we call fungibility because crypto assets or digital assets are fungible assets. And fungible, it means they can be traded one to one. I can trade my Bitcoin for Ethereum, for USDC or whatever. However, NFTs are unique. You cannot trade an NFT for an NFT because their value is not the same. They are not tradable. So from this concept, you can imagine NFTs are unique way of conveying collectibles or digital form of collectibles. So we can imagine this as an NFT. What do I mean by this as an NFT? Let's say this is a rare piece of art but I don't want the actual representation of it in real life. What I can do, I can bring it, create what we call a metadata and put this metadata directly on the blockchain. And I will have a digital representation of this. Actually, I can have a digital image and have it and sell it to others and me owning this in custody. So this is what NFTs in really simple terms are about. To make things really simple, imagine NFTs or non-fungible tokens as any practice of collectibles. However, this practice is on steroids. Why do I say this? Like we know, card collectibles, watch collectibles, all of those are form of collectibles in real world, right? However, NFTs have digital presentation on blockchain itself. So technically we can imagine NFTs as digital collectibles and the proof of authenticity lives on the blockchain itself. But why we care about it? I care about NFTs and I see them the future of collectibles for many reasons. And not even collectibles, it can disrupt many industries. We can talk about it later. However, the first thing comes to my mind is literally you can have a track record and history of how many times this asset or this collectible has been traded over times. I'm very curious how this is going to turn out. Now let's talk about the benefits of NFTs. NFTs have major benefits that can range from artists even to the users themselves. Let's talk about the artists, the people who produce the actual art, be it digital art, collectibles, or whatever. So from this concept, artists can actually monetize their work and can have benefits directed to them. What do I mean by this? Over the years, artists have been suffering from copyrights infringements and problems with their trademarks. With the NFTs, you can actually monetize your work and track record how your work is getting monetized and getting royalties on your work. And for users who really respect this artist and want to support him, they, or her, of course, they can buy, trade, sell, or even own this piece of NFT. I expect some form of compensation. The potential of NFTs extend way beyond digital art. You can think about it, it can disrupt literally every industry. Let's start with the music. 
NFTs can digitize the music world by simply granting access and exclusive content for the viewers. Also in medicine, you can make NFTs of unique x-rays and sell it online for the people who are interested in. In card collectibles, you can create NFTs of each card and create secondary market out of this and make traders who are interested in this field actually trade the NFTs themselves. And also in real estate, you can make NFTs out of landscape and make let people trade it and create a market, a new asset class from nowhere. Me! Scammed! However, there are huge risks yet associated with NFTs. Because NFTs is still not a regulated market or even regulated asset class, to be accurate, you, we can think ab about many risky stuff that can happen with NFTs. Scams. Uh, scams are scams or fraudulent activities are everywhere. And many NFTs actually don't have actual value in the market because people take advantage of unregulated markets and they try to push something that actually doesn't have a value. Thank you so much for watching this episode. And today we just discussed about NFTs, the complete new world of ownership and how we can reimagine the way we own things. Thank you so much. And please don't forget to subscribe, share and like and comment below for any interesting topics. Or if you have any questions about NFTs, because it's a new concept and I would love to answer all your questions.